Hi, I'm Kat Weixel from Pate Group, and today I have a lists tip to share with you. So we keep getting more and more features in Microsoft Lists, and I'm going to show you a new one that's rolling out now. It's related to the calendar view that you can create. Um, I'm going to just start by setting up a calendar view, and then I can show you this new option for dragging and dropping items to schedule them, reschedule them, and even unschedule them. So first, I'm going to come to where the views are here, up in the upper right corner, and I'm going to say Create New View. I'm going to go ahead and select the Calendar View option, and I'll just call this one Calendar. And I'm going to decide the dates that I want to see on here. I'm not going to um, use this draft feature, draft due by. I'm going to actually put the publish by date as what I want on the calendar. That's the um, date field that I care about. And basically, any of your date fields are going to be options here uh, when you're creating your calendar view. I'll make it a public view and click Create. And now I've got my calendar view, which should look very familiar to you. However, there is a new feature over on the right hand side, um, this option to look at unscheduled items. So we don't see anything on the calendar because we don't have any dates for any of the items in this list right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is switch from today's date right now, it's showing me if there were something scheduled for today, I would see it here, um, but there aren't any items for today. So I'm going to click on unscheduled. And now I see all the list items that have yet to be scheduled. So to schedule these, to actually put in a publish by date, all I have to do is drag items from the unscheduled section to the calendar for whenever I want to schedule them. And I just drag and drop. And now this item that I just dragged on here, if I double click on it, it is scheduled to publish on May 25th. So just by dragging and dropping, I've already put that date in there. So I can continue to do the same thing to schedule the items. I could also move the items once they're on the calendar. So let's say I change my mind. I don't want this to be on the 25th. I want it to be the 23rd. I can drag and drop again, and I've rescheduled that. And the same thing can be done to unschedule things. Let's say you've decided you're not sure what date uh, something should be published on, so you can actually drag it off to the unscheduled section and it removes the date. So it's just this really nice drag and drop, simple option for scheduling, rescheduling, and unscheduling your list items. I hope this helps.